The mother of the young boy who died in a scorching hot car in Georgia has now hired an attorney. Atlanta affiliate WXIA says 30-year-old Leanna Harris has also left the state. She has not been charged in connection with her son's death. The boy's father, 33-year-old Justin Ross Harris, is charged with murder and child cruelty. Prosecutors believe he intentionally left his 22-month-old son in the sweltering car. Victor Blackwell says prosecutors are looking closely at Justin Harris's internet history now. What are believed to be the words of Justin Ross Harris, written one year ago online, are now taking on new relevance as Harris is charged with killing his son. Killing a person, in the sense of abortion, is selfish and malicious with the intent of only satisfying your own personal agenda. They're on the social media site Reddit, where Cobb County detectives say Harris read suspicious topic pages, also known as subreddits. He visited several sites, um, and these subreddits, it was um, people who die. He went to a subreddit, it was called Child Free. He did also did a search, um, How to Survive Prison. Hundreds of comments spanning three years under the screen name Roscoe UA. The most recent posted just hours before Harris's arrest. Roscoe UA offered a Reddit user advice on how to avoid arrest in the context of DUI. The post, marked three months ago, reads, Refuse to answer any questions and ask if you're being detained. If not, leave. He goes on. Everything a police officer does during a possible DUI traffic stop means he is trying to build evidence against you. You should do everything in your power to prevent this. There are posts about gratitude, one year ago, about a new life in Georgia. I am now in my dream job, have a beautiful six-month-old son, and love going to work every day. I couldn't be happier. Also, posts about difficulties, like the surprising challenge suggested during Harris's probable cause hearing, and defense attorney Maddox Kilgore will almost certainly revisit it during any trial. Would you be surprised to know that Ross is completely deaf in his right ear? Did you know that? I did not know that. Roscoe UA explains, I had a bottle rocket explode in my ear that was shot by a friend. It caused me to have vertigo, terrible balance, and facial paralysis for a long time. Thankfully, after two surgeries, I have no outward issues. I'm just deaf in my right ear. Potential evidence investigators are scouring to better understand this father charged with killing his only child. Victor Blackwell, CNN, Atlanta. All right, our legal guys are back. Avery Friedman in Cleveland, Richard Herman in Las Vegas. Okay, so Richard, um, the, the connection with the internet histories, how is this going to help build the case, perhaps, against this dad. It, it's one of the building blocks to get a conviction here, Fred. And sometimes, Fred, some cases are just so horrific that the, the fact patterns are not even as important as the crime and what happened. And here, yeah, you had a 22-month-old boy, baby, in the back of a car who baked and died in the heat in a car. Mm -hmm. A juror, although at voir dire, they're going to say, oh, I can have an open mind here. I don't have any preconceived notions. Mm -hmm. How can you not? How can your heart not melt and break at the scenario that this child That's died right. a violent death, which That's is right. what the autopsy said? So his internet searches, wanting to live a childless life, how to survive prison, you know, how to, how to what, what it's going to take for a, a, a kid to die in a car mm. in heat. You know, these are, these are really problematic for the defense here. And mm. while his attorney did a great job in the probable cause hearing to try to keep out the intentional yeah, murder but, aspects mm. of that hearing, I think he's going to get indicted. I think he's going to be charged with intentional murder here, and I look for the wife mm. to get indicted also. So at the same time, Avery, are there any protections that come with a person's internet searches? I mean, because you're drawing some inferences just based on where somebody wants to go, what they're looking at. None whatsoever. You know what, that's, that, here we go again. We've got technology involved in a legal setting, and there are absolutely no limitations. The argument by the prosecution is going to be, look at this is probative. You know, how to lead a child-free life and what that takes and how to avoid prison and what do you do if you're stopped by a police officer. There is probative value, some of limited probative value, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, it is part of building this case. And you know what? I'm actually in accord. Um, I do think that the crime is so horrific here. Um, that it's going to be very difficult for the defense of this individual uh, to make sure he has a 
a non-opinionated jury. I don't know how that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I also agree that I think the wife is somewhat on the line here. Uh, we don't know why she left the jurisdiction, but you know what? Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It was smart for her to get a lawyer. She should have had a lawyer before. Uh, dealing with media, dealing with the implications, talking with the prosecutor. It was actually the right thing to do. And actually, I am in agreement. I do think that um, she's going to have some problems here. Mm. Okay, uh, you all are in accord, in agreement on that. Yeah, but we, we agreed on two. I know, but something of tells me Avery this is going to be the tiebreaker right here. This is going to be the tiebreaker right here because you are in Cleveland, Avery. That's right. And LeBron James, the king, is coming home. And Richard, I know you're a New Yorker, and there you are in Las Vegas, but oftentimes, you know, Florida's kind of the snowbird state, so now here in lies, I'm, I'm laying the groundwork here. So you first, Avery, you get to talk a little smack here. How excited are you? Will you be front and center? Are you among the ticket holders now for the next upcoming season for the Cavs? I don't let think me so. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> This is, there's a reason this is number one on CNN, on front page of the New York Times, front page of the Wall Street Journal, because yeah. it, is, it is wonderful major league news. The fact is that he has come back, he has shown humility, Frederica, humility. Yeah, humility. And that's what it's wow. taken. When he left, there was this arrogance, this sort of uh, problem, oh. maybe bad advice, whatever. But I think it's, it has been neutralized. There are Midwest fundamental family values. He's Aww. coming back. He's going to bring up oh a family here. <laughs> I think Richard. it is magnificent. Richard, magnificent. you're not doing it, but I'm seeing you do this. I'm kind of envisioning yeah. that. Yeah, I want, okay. hear, I want to hear a minor league okay. explanation from, from Richard on a major league development. <laughs> bad, bad advice to go to Miami and win two world championships. Okay, but listen, as he's welcomed with open, open arms back in Cleveland, mm. better make sure you regulate the temperature in the arena because he might get cramps in a championship game and have to sit out. So better be careful here with the nice king. Nice guess. Nice try. Didn't work. Oh, that's fun. Hey, it's all in fun. We laugh, we all cry together, fun. right? That's right. That's, That's right. All right. Avery Richard. Nice always... and cold in Cleveland. Nice <laughs> and cold up there in the uh, minute, baby. A little be hot with LeBron. I'll tell uh, you there that. you go. Oh, and the hits keep coming. All right, gentlemen. Thanks so much. Always good to see you. Love you. All right. And of course, you can catch our legal guys every Saturday at this time, giving their take on the most intriguing legal cases of the day and at the same time, have a little fun whenever and however they can. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs>